Father and son madmen from Edinburgh were deplorable as each other, the very worst kind of human beings. Sixty-six-year-old Ian McLeod was a sick man having Parkinson's disease, and his son, forty-two-year-old Dean McLeod, who had suffered mental health issues and had pleaded for help for years, had subjected their victims, yes, victims (plural) to the most heinous punishment, which included nails, blowtorch, hammer, and machetes. Letters were scorched into places. Edinburgh's High Court was told that Ian and Dean had aimed their victims. 37-year-old Derek Johnston and 66-year-old Desmond Rawlins at Ian McLeod's flat in Greendike's house between October 30th and November 1st of 2022. Now police believe Derek Johnston, who was known to Ian, had arrived at the flat at 6.15pm on October 30th, while the neighbour Desmond Rawlings was invited to the flat on October 31st. Now Dean, who was also known as Denim, had wanted to act out his most frantic dreams. So, with the blessing of his dad and encouragement, the crazed men had purchased forensic suits, plastic overshoes, goggles and two hammers. They already had the Stanley and machettes. Now when I say the M was vicious and brutal, I actually mean it. Derek Johnston had a hammer left in him. The letters YLT were scorched into places and Ian and Dean had also took away one ear, piece of nose. David Johnstone had suffered at least 28 different injuries. Areas included the head, neck and limbs. Now when Derek was no longer moving and Ian and Dean were done, Derek was rolled up into a rug and placed in a bathtub and then left there. They then moved on to Desmond Rowling. The initials YT and YLT were again scorched into places, again ear taken, upper lip and part of nose. Now Desmond Rowlings had 136 distinct injuries, including head, neck, chest, back and other parts. Now police found Desmond in the living room with a blanket over him. Now Desmond Rowlings' partner had reported Desmond missing after she tried to wish Desmond a happy birthday the following day. Police then conducted door-to-door inquiries before information led police to search Dean's flat. Now when police searched the flat, they found two hammers, Stanley and also Machette, and also the two victims. So deranged were both Ian and Dean that after they committed two M's, they then fled the flat, before taking methadone in an attempt to end their lives. However, it did not work, and the two men ended up at the Royal Infirmary of Edinburgh, the two men were said to be clutching a rock sack. Now when police looked inside the rock sack, they found parts belonging to Derek and Desmond. Both men were arrested for the M's and they pled guilty. Now they were jailed for life with a minimum term of 34 years and in court the judge commented that this was the worst kind of M he had ever seen. Now after the M, Dean had apparently written a letter stating what we have done was evil and sadistic but I have pleaded for help for decades. Dean McLeod also reported they told a psychiatrist that Ian was a narcissist and sociopath and he kept hearing voices in his head he could not conquer. Condolences. Stay safe. Safe.